Yeah, so today we're going to talk with someone who doesn't play video games on a normal basis, and we're going to try to get a feel for, for why that is. Uh, my guest is Ashley Gilbert, who also happens to be my girlfriend. Hi. Hello, Ashley, and welcome. Um, to get started, tell me, what uh, what is your opinion on video games? Okay. Thank you, Joe, for letting me um, be interviewed. <laughs> My opinion on video games, they're fun, it's just that I, I don't play them that often. I okay. Really don't. I mean, the, I mean, how often do you play games? Occasionally. Like, Occasionally. Okay. When I have time. Maybe. When you have time. Yeah. But I would rather watch a movie or read a book. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, what kind of a gamer would you describe yourself as? Like, less than casual, casual... Uh, average, where you play a little bit of everything, an enthusiast, where you really, really like video games, or hardcore, where you are just, like, you know, crazy about video games. Out of all those, how would you describe yourself? So, are you asking me, like, the frequency of which I play the games? No, no, no. Or, like, no, the variety of types of games that I like to play? Kind of, yeah. Like, like if you had to label yourself as I mean, some certain type of gamer, if you were going to be a, any type of gamer... Would you be less than casual or casual? Like, you, you play it casually or less than casually? I play it casually. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I was just wondering if... Because, I mean, I like a different variety of games. All right, well... I like, just not frequently. Okay. What are some of your favorite games, like, that you've played in the past that you just... You really loved? That I really loved? Oh. Mm. Okay. Probably, like, the old school Mario such as like Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo or yeah. Super Mario World and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what would some of your favorite genres of games be? Like role-playing games, music games, platformers like Mario, uh, action, adventure, fighting, racing, puzzle games. What, what would you say? Okay, well, I really like puzzle games. Those are fun. Okay. Um, anything that chases me, oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not that big into, like, action. I mean, I like adventure kind of games, but at the same time, if I'm having to attack and fight and go to battle or war with somebody else, then usually I'm forgetting all the combinations of the, like, all the sequences of the moves that I have to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what the hell am I doing? And I'm just like randomly hitting buttons. So, yeah, and it looks pretty chaotic and you laugh your ass off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> what, what, what are some of the games that you absolutely hate and you would never, ever play? Like, genres of games. I mean, because one, I'm not like, I don't know what all is out there, so I... Yeah, then, you, you don't and, keep up with it, right? Right, yeah. So I don't know what all is out there. And two, you know, what I might hate may actually be something I've never played before, so I might actually like playing it. I don't know. but So it just depends. Again, yeah, it just depends. But again, it's like something that I have to... I don't know. Remember all these codes for, or I have to... Okay, so, so like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, like a fighting game. Where you have to remember all these different combinations oh, yeah. of button would presses to do moves and stuff. Yeah. yeah you, you don't like that at all? Yeah, it would totally okay. drive me crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, you said you like Mario. What about, what about racing games? I know you've played yeah, some racing games. Yeah, I love games some racing games. Racing games like, are fun. Like Burnout. So. I love some racing games. I love um, I love games like that have a good storyline to them that I can kind of like get sucked into. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, I was going to say... Um, whether I'm just watching somebody play or whether I'm playing myself, those are really cool. Though. Like I know that that stories for you are very important. Oh yeah. And uh, like for instance, if you were presented with a story or, or a game that had a uh, really really great story that sucked you into it, would you be pretty interested in playing it? Something like like Uncharted. Yeah, I would because it's with a story too. It just seems like there's a goal to it. Like, you're, you're trying to achieve, like, this goal, and just, you 
know, me being a therapist, I like having my goals. And so, and little benchmarks, and like you achieve a certain level, and then you achieve that benchmark, and then you move on to the next goal, or the next benchmark, or whatever. So those things, yeah. But I mean, if it's got a great storyline to it, then of course. Okay. So, um, what is it that you'd like to see in a game that would make it more enjoyable, more fun for you to play? And might make you want to play it more often. The game has to have a story. It has to have a set of goals for you yeah. that are easy to understand and outline, and something that you'd be interested in a, in it attaining, to, right? Yeah, I mean, something for me, it would have to be like something with a goal to it, something that I really kind of have to critically think about, and maybe not too much, you know, because you still want to have fun in it. But yeah. I mean, if it's just like, okay, we're just going to blah, 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 and I, I don't know, I'm not a very good, just like random, you just have free reign kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like my rules and my guidelines. Right. <laughs> it's that, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, would you say it's important for you, for the controls to be easy to learn and easy to memorize and for oh, them to yeah. make sense like <laughs> like for a racing game to have the shoulder buttons like the triggers not the yeah. shoulder buttons but the triggers yeah, be know. to accelerate yeah. and brake and mm -hmm. stuff like that and yeah left is left right is right which is why I like racing games okay because usually they're the controls are pretty standard on yeah. all of them yeah. you know like X is boost or right. turbo or mm -hmm. whatever yeah okay and, and those things I can pick up pretty quickly but it's like I don't know what was it that one Lord of the Rings game we played and it was if you were one warrior or something, then you had to do certain, like, combinations of buttons. And then if you were, like, yeah, the wizard well, or something, you had to do something completely different combination of buttons. And I'm like, okay, I'm not memorizing all the buttons for every single character because one day I may want to be the wizard and the next day I may want to be an elf. I'm right. like, I'm, I'm kind of like, well, what the hell? I'm not going to sit down and nor am I going to write all these combinations down. I'm just going to be like... Okay. So you don't want things to overwhelm you and just have a whole bunch of stuff thrown at you for you to have to, you know, remember. You want it to be, like, natural when you yeah. play a game mm -hmm. and you use a controller. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what would you say, what's your opinion on, like, the, the, I know you don't know too much about it, but, like, the PlayStation Move controller that's coming out. Uh, it's kind of like the, kind of like the Nintendo Wii mode, but basically it's, it's a lot more precise like when you move, it moves when you move. Like as a casual yeah. gamer, I don't know how much. In, in really, a game, like how, how enthusiastic like, I am about it. Even then, I still don't play that much, so it's I'm kind of indifferent about it. Not you just say that. No, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. No, I'm just like, all right, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that they're, um, you know, they're, they're branching out, and that it's not just something that's specifically for the Wii anymore. That. PlayStation's picking it up, Xbox is picking it up, you know, yeah. different consoles have it, are going to have it now available to use. So that that makes me happy. So you've got that choice. Yeah. So you don't have to go, well, shit, I have to go buy a new game system just so I can play this damn thing, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so but, but do you think it's cool that, like, the PlayStation Move, it's basically going to be, like, better than the Wii, of course, well, hopefully. And, uh, but with like high definition graphics and mm -hmm. instead of, you know, like the old school, does that matter to you of it being like high definition, real characters that I mean, like humans that look like humans and things like that? If it's going to allow me to you get into the story more, then yeah, I'll be pretty excited about it. Okay. Because it's all going to come into like how, again, like how complicated is the controls? Um, is it going to draw me in more into the game? Or is it going to be something where I'm constantly going, am I aiming right? Or am I pressing the right button? You know, and if I'm worried too, if I'm caught up too much in the details, then I'm not going to enjoy myself. Okay. So, think about this for a minute, but what, what would it take to get you to want to play <laughs> video games on a more regular basis? <laughs> Basically... <laughs> How the hell can I get you to play games more, actually? Um, no. <laughs> um, let me graduate from grad school first. <laughs> well, of course you have to have time. Yeah, time is a big factor. Um, but, I don't know. Something that... The thing about... The thing about... Um, sorry. The thing 
about books is that it, it engages my imagination, right? Yeah. I can visually, I mean, you know, it's just like that imagery in your mind. You can kind of create that with your imagination. And then, um, and then with movies, it's more of a, okay, I need to take away, I need to shut my brain down for a minute and just let the visual stimulation kind of come to me. And with games, it's kind of a combination of both. And, I mean, if it's really, it, it's just going to have to come down to if it engages me, you know, is it going to draw me in? How complicated is it going to be? And then, but you know what? Also, what do I have? What do I really own right now? You've I've, got a GameCube. I've got a GameCube, and I've got, got a, like, I have a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Game Boy can, Advance, yeah. Yeah, I've got those. And so, I mean, it's also going to come down to money. You know, is it oh, going to yeah. be worth it for me to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on this console and and then, like, how much does game? How many? How much do games run typically? I mean, like, for a PS3 game, $50? they're about fifty nine dollars, yeah. sixty bucks, yeah. tax so, and all. Like shit. I mean, I can buy a <laughs> book, and I can go to a movie a hell of a lot cheaper than that. And I mean, yeah, that's just. <laughs> it's gonna have to be some hell of a game for me to spend sixty bucks. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. Right now, I'm too poor. <laughs> well, that's that's understandable. So, um... Because, I mean, I don't have the passion for it like you do. I mean, if I had the passion for it like you do, then, yeah, sure, I would... Of course. I would probably save and scrimp and, you know, be like, oh, yes, I'm buying this game when well, it comes out. Well, I think that that mainly comes from exposure. Um, I've been playing video games since I was, like, five years old. And yeah. I have played a huge variety of different games, and... I know what I like, and I know what I want to see, and I know what to expect. But I guess for you, being more of a casual gamer, and you haven't played a whole bunch of different video games in your life. And I didn't grow up with it. Right, you I didn't mean, grow up with it. I, I didn't grow up with any what of games, this. What game like systems did you have when you were growing up, Ashley? Um, when I was growing up, what we had was, um, you know those old Game Boys that were like this humongous like gray box thing? Yeah, and it had yes. the green green and black screen. Yes. The original Game yes, Boy. Yes, the yeah. original Game Boy. We had that. Me, my brother and I, we had that. And and then eventually my brother, who is a very enthusiastic gamer, um, he, you know, he got a PlayStation, but it was his, not mine. So I couldn't touch it. I yeah. think I played Frogger on it like once. <laughs> so yeah. thus why I love Mario games. Uh, okay. Because I had the original Game Boy, and that's what I had access to all the time. Cool. So, you know. Okay. And then you had what? I, I know you got the GameCube. Did you ever have a Nintendo 64 or anything? No. So was the GameCube the only other game system you've had? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've played the Nintendo 64. I've played the Sega, but, but you know, I didn't own it. Yeah. I didn't yeah. have it at, at my house. It was always like when I would go to see friends. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and then, of course, you've played um, my PlayStation 3. Oh, yeah. And when I had a Wii, you played played some Wii games, too. Yeah. What, you, what, are you, what are your thoughts about the, that? What are my thoughts about that? What are your thoughts? What do you think about that? <laughs> what, what do I think about that? Um, I thought it was fun, Joe. Did you have fun? Did you <laughs> have fun, fun, really? That's, I had fun. That's what I want to know is, did you have fun? And do you think that, like, seeing some of the things that I've played made you say, hey... Maybe one day I would like to play that. Oh hell yeah! Like uh, so like with fun, with yeah. Uncharted or something. Uncharted too. I mean, those well, games I mean, are like people yeah. say that those games are like movies, but they're games, but they're movie games. Right. Movies. I mean, <laughs> because you know, because I can sit there and I can watch you play it and not know how in the hell you're doing anything, but I just like watching and seeing what's gonna happen next. Okay. You know, that kind of thing, but. So yeah, yeah, it is fun. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. I love going over to friends' places and um, playing on some of their gaming systems, whatever they have. And um, I just, you know, don't have the money or the time okay. right now. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Ashley, and there you have it. Um, it's an interesting look into the perspective of a typical casual gamer. So until next time, good game. So for more awesome original video game content, visit us online at aimlesspodcast.com.